What is this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get it opened. What do we... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that looks really good. Really good. There actually is a searchlight in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep the camera running. I just found some more money. What is up, Locker Nuts? All right, guess where we're at? We're back at the unit. Why? Well, because I'm gonna get some empty boxes off the truck, put some full boxes back on so we can go home and do some more unboxing. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, this is all the train locker. Well, maybe not this, but most of this side of the unit is all train locker. There's quite a bit. We have a lot to go through. But we're not going to do that here. We're going to put that on the truck, go home and do it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get to it. All right, the unit's starting to look a little different, isn't it? Still got a little stuff here, but look, we carved out a pretty good hole right here. Carved out a good hole. All that is untouched except for those Samsonite chairs. That's out of the uh, no-show locker, but all those boxes there are untapped, but uh, in a little bit here. But I got a pretty good load. It's not packed super well, guys. I wasn't, this was for speed, not for efficiency. Uh, yeah, I've just kind of put stuff in. And uh, it's all good stuff. I took a couple peeks and whew, got some good stuff. I'm excited. All right, I just got home a little while ago and uh, just want to show you what my 12-year-old's been working on today. While I was out at the storage locker, here's what she set up for tonight's festivities. Now showing Parent Trap. So apparently this is a movie theater now. Camille's Quarantine Theater. <laughs> Come on down to have the time of your life. I heard them say that. This way, see it's, it's blocked off right here. You have to come in through the kitchen. There's the candies all ready for tonight. Popcorn's ready to go. It's even a science seating tonight. Look at that. That is hilarious. That kid. There's my seat. The, the, why I get especially humor out of it is I think Jana took their cell phones away today. <laughs> Sometimes you remove those uh, temptations and better things occur. In this case, uh, a lot of creativity and uh, some fun to be had tonight. But for right now, I got to get boogie in. We're going to unload this right here, all this stuff into the garage and then hopefully um, do some unboxing right now so I can get a video out tomorrow morning since I didn't get one out today. All right, Locker Nuts, ready to get started. I, t I got like an hour before uh, the movie starts. So, <laughs> and you saw in there, uh, Parent Trap, there's some negotiations going on because they've the kids have seen that like 20 times. Great movie, but let's see something new. So uh, they're negotiating right now what movie to see. Uh, I've got limited time, so let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Got, got some stuff. Got some stuff here. Just to remind you guys, if you haven't been with us lately, uh, this stuff is coming out of what is called the train locker. The train locker, what I'm calling the train locker. Ooh, what do we got here? What is this? Uh oh. <laughs> is that a good way to start the video? This still from the picture, Outlaws of the Desert, Paramount Pictures, 1939. And oh, it's got signatures. I'm going to have to look up who these guys are. Do you know who they are? This is uh, very interesting, you guys. Very interesting. This guy was deaf. Oh, oh, what? Another one. Look at that. Brad King? All right, I'm going to have to look this up. This guy's a collector. I was about to say, the guy is a collector. He collected some really good stuff. Football's Finest Hour, East, West, Shrine Game, Ames, Reno, Snow Trip, Rattles Again with Duncan, 1984. Can't say that's like going to be super desirable, but it definitely is vintage. All right, this is cool. Oakland Athletics, you got a few pins here. Season ticket holder. 2004 season ticket holder. That's pretty cool. Look at that. The label. That's a vintage hat. Oh, another one. More pins. A's hat. New era. It's got some stains in here. Okay, I'm not gonna say this is mint. 
it's far from mint. All right, another one. More pins. Look at that. More pins. The Swingin' A's. That's pretty cool. Snapback. B, D, and A. A's Athletics. This lot right here will definitely be in our upcoming auction. I'd say probably on our Wednesday night auction. 6 p.m. Pacific, all right? Uh, this video will probably come out before then. But uh, our Monday night auction, we've already got the lineup pretty much set. So I'm not going to put that on Monday. We'll do this on Wednesday. This is this is nice. Look at that. Two great lots right there. Two great auction lots. All right. And that says right there, Lionel Trestles. Yep. They're bridge parts, right? Parts for, uh, I don't know if it's a bridge or just like a raised track. Little pieces. Lay the track on top. It's cool. All right, this is kind of interesting. What's with this box right here? Hmm. Oh. Okay, I kind of remember seeing this before. Hmm. That's a nice looking hat. So, what is this? A Bailey? Bailey. I'll have to look this up. I don't know much about these. Got some uh, wear right here. So this has definitely been worn, hasn't it? Mm-mm. It doesn't fit this head. I'm going to suppress it down. Maybe it's supposed to be snug. I don't know. I think it's going to be a medium. Or a... Yeah, I don't think it's a small. I think it's a medium. All right. Let's see what's in here. I don't think we looked in here. Because I don't think I could get it opened. Okay, oh, that's a little tackle box. That's the first aid kit. <laughs> a very old one. A very old one. What is that? Tincture of methiolate. Huh. What do we got here? An old reel. Mitchell 320. Here's another reel. I think it's for this. I think it's actually an extra part for that. Got a little fish scale right here. A little hat. Oh, wow, look at that. The metal's worth something. It's a military hat. It's in pretty rough shape. Fishing hooks here. Ooh, I see a fishing knife here. Let's see what this knife looks like. Yeah, oh, hickory, old hickory. It's nice. <laughs> Those old hooks. Looks really old, actually. Product of Japan. Interesting. This is exciting. We've got a box of records right here. Mm, okay, this isn't a record. This is a puzzle. Unfortunately, missing piece right there. I don't see a date on this, but it looks really old. Me in the USA. All right, what do we got here? Tommy Rowe, Dizzy. All right, that's kind of psychedelic. Insight out the association. Psychedelic stuff, 70s. 1971, yeah. Early 70s. The Age of Aquarius by the Fifth Dimension. Bobby Gentry. Ode to Billy Joel. Billy Joe. <laughs> Billy Joel? I think Billy Joel came after that. Petula Clark. These are my songs, Pet Clark. Looks like Petula Clark. Shorten our name to Pet Clark. The Dirty Dozen. Nice. The Sky's the Limit by The Temptations. Look at this album cover. The cover's in excellent shape. I wonder how that... Oh, man, that looks really good. Really good. Bobby Goldsboro, Autumn of My Life. Patty Duke as Billy. Motion picture. Neil Diamond, Moods. He's hecka young there. The Unicorn, The Irish Rovers. The Fifth Dimension, Loves, Lines, Angels, and Rhymes. Marvin Gaye, I Want You. Bright Side of Music, 22 original hits and original stars. Jackson 5, third album. <laughs> Credence Clearwater Revival, very nice. Spinky and Our Gang Change. Motion picture score from Patton. 
Diana Ross and the Supremes greatest hits. And this looks like it is a devil. Gary Puckett and the Union Gaps. Greatest hits. Temptations, Masterpiece. Bobby Goldsboro, Honey. And Lily Tomlin, how funny. This is a recording. She was hecka funny. And the Record Factory, how funny. We used to have one of those in the town where I grew up. Oh man, I haven't seen that logo in a long time. They are long gone. Now the Goodwill, I think, is in their spot. Oh, look at this box. This one's big. It's got lots of stuff in it. Let's check it out. All right, first up. What do we... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's a lunchbox with Kiss. Sweet. Look at that. Very cool. Brand new. Oh, whoa. Got some stuff in here. That's empty. Oh, okay. Here's a kiss spaghetti strap tank top. That's pretty cool. It says this is called the Destroyer Embossed Lunchbox. And this was bought in 2000, so he actually bought this 20 years ago. And it's been sitting in this box. It looks like he bought it off some auction site. And uh, it's been sitting here. Isn't that cool? Next one. And maintenance car. It says searchlight maintenance car. I'm thinking train. Ooh, that, that's what it means by searchlight. There actually is a searchlight in there. Strategic Air Command Search and Rescue. That's super cool. Hmm. Lionel. And look at that, guys. He, it's the box that he got it shipped to him. You know, he kept it like in the original box. I don't even have to find a box and I don't have to find bubble wrap. I just list it, put it right back in the box and sell it. Sell, sell, sell. There's another one. These are wrapped up a lot better. That's what we got. More trains. Lion, another Lionel. It looks to be in really good condition. I think this is a second one. It has a little... Boy, they sure look similar, but they are a little different. The first one's 9553, and this one's 1877. So a little bit different, but we do have two very similar pieces. Very, very similar pieces. Now the boxes are out. Here's what we got below it. I think this is going to be more underwears. Pretty sure... Pretty sure. Uh, but what's with all this? And look at the rope. Right, we still got some more digging to do here. Let's see what we got. Here's another, another underwear. Oh, it's like a bodysuit. I don't know if these are swimsuits or athletic wear. Gilligan and O'Malley. Intimate apparel. Okay, so it's underwear. Dang. Look at this brand new bag, not o even open. We'll slice right there. Oh, it's actually coming apart pretty easy. I think it's been in here a, long, a very long time. It looks like boxer shorts or something. Brand new. Fredericks of Hollywood right here. Fredericks. Oh, look at this. Here's the bill right here. Oh, it's all bought from Fredericks of Hollywood. How about that? 2003. All right, this seems to be like mail and stuff, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through it all, of course. Maybe there's an envelope of money in here. I doubt it, but um, I'm gonna go through it all and see if there's anything interesting. I'll put it aside and give you guys the highlights. Uh, maybe there's better stuff below. I'll start the video up again if we got some action. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Just a bunch of weird stuff like printed out emails and old correspondences that he printed and would put in brown envelopes and kept but check this out i found some money these uh just like this one here i found this is 2004 schedule for the a's it's got receipts like all this random stuff round table pizza just all the receipts and stuff and then right here check it out 20 bucks it's kind of interesting. This is the first money that I've really found. We found a bunch of coins. I added those to my coin jar, at least my one, whatever, uh, three, uh, she's three eighths of it, you know, my portion of this locker. I added those coins to my coin bin, but this is the first, like, 
significant like dollar bills that I found. That's kind of cool. Let's see what's in here. Maybe at the end of the 20 bucks. Another um, schedule here. It's like all receipts and stuff. And bank statements, like ATM slips. I don't know. Interesting, huh? All right. 20 bucks. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep the camera running. I just found some more money. Look at this, I found this and I'm like, well, I better make sure. Okay, that was torn open now, it wasn't before. I open it and you, can, you can't even see the money. Do you see that? You can't even see the money. So I tore it and I'm like, wait, what's that? Oh, whoa. Found another 40 bucks, right here. What's in this one? Nothing. All right, so that one had the flap inside. Found that right there. Boom. 40 bucks. That's now twice. Twice. That's 60 bucks we found. Okay. And those were in here. Interesting. And then here's some railroad magazines. So we got a few of them here from 2003. All right. Cool. Good stuff. And then here's one in the bag. All right. Got some of those. Betty Boop socks. Betty Boop. Betty Boop. Oh, here's a costume. All right, which? All right, here's the thing of rope. It's kind of a random thing to find, but it's a decent rope. That'll fetch a few bucks. Some bungees, brand new. A couple work gloves, good ones. What is this? What's with the rubber bands? Check this out, Blue Angels. Okay, we got the Blue Angels on there. Um, it's a blue cobalt glass. Looks like it might be a little vintage too. I don't know. We got to set a toast to a good locker. All right, we're we are taking a break, and this is the line for the movie theater. We're in line here at the movie theater. The line got longer. <laughs> I, got, I got bumped. <laughs> you got reserved seating, so I don't want to hear it. She wants five. Okay. Five. Here you go. Please stand up behind Faith and don't touch me. But you can get hands. I see how it is. Give birth to y'all. <laughs> Take care y'all. P4. P4. Please stand behind Grace and get some hands. Yes, hello. I think I have a reserve seat. Reserve I called ahead. Nice. Line for the snack bar. Okay. Please get your popcorn and your candy. And then here's some m &Ms. Please use some little scoopers. Keep them up into your popcorn. Thank you. And then please stand at the next dot and wait. <laughs> it's gonna take forever if I do it like that. Take it, please. Is this the line? Yeah. What's that right there? Oh, that means where you wait. Oh, I see. This way, like okay. it's already there. What's my seat? I forgot. P1. P1, okay. Let's check. Yes, that's my seat right here. All right, good morning, Locker Nuts. It's Monday morning. All right, I took a little break. I quit a little early last night so we could go have a movie night together. And uh, I'll tell you, my daughter Camille really put on quite a production. She transformed that downstairs into a movie theater. You know, one of the things that we miss right now, being in this uh, shelter in place or lockdown or whatever you call it, we miss going to the movies as a family. So she made it, um, you know, at least a little bit as close as she could to that experience. And I love seeing that creativity. You give her some pens give her some paper and a little scotch tape and she transforms the room so and a little candy <laughs> so we had a good time and watched uh, yesterday fantastic movie great music really enjoyed it so hey we're gonna get back to unboxing but first a quick shout out to shondora waltz stevenson shondora signed up for our bonafide nuts membership so shout out to you shondora thank you so much for supporting our channel we really appreciate it and uh, if you guys aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, we added memberships. And if you want more information about that, click the join button below next to the subscribe and it'll give you all the information that you need. All right, we got two tiers available and Shondora is now bonafide nuts. <laughs> all right, let's get back to unboxing. Hmm. 3.6 volt cordless screwdriver set. 
that's not too powerful, but I guess on most of the jobs you don't need something too powerful. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Brand new. Shania Twain. All right. CD. Brand new. Sealed. Ten bucks. Brand new. Brand new toothbrush. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Look at all those gloves. Now, these are not good gloves for doing what I do because you do need to get in these boxes and have some, like, dexterity with your fingers. You know, you can't go through papers real well with these kinds of boxes. But as far as, like, moving wood and boxes, these work very, very well with the leather. Protect your hands really well. Okay, we got a little bit of train track. Train track. A little more train track. Okay. All uh, right, look at this, you guys. Okay, look at this. Another one of these bags. I think the guy maybe went to the game and took this with him. Maybe he didn't take his wallet, so he took this little bag, and that's where he put it. I don't know. Maybe this is where he put his money and his receipts and stuff. Let's see if we can find some more money. Everything is really bundled up, though. Yeah, no money in this one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Still can't believe that 20 bucks. So cool. Hmm. Got a watch. Oh, what do we got here? Not seeing what it says. Oh, upside down it says quartz. Japan movement. No brand though. Hmm. Alright. We'll put that in the next watch lot. Okay, next box. <laughs> next box. What? That is funny. I remember these hats. Uh it's a little bit older. It's a little bit older. Matador football. I think this is something local. Where the guy grew up. <laughs> that looks old too. Not a protective helmet. Huh. It's cool. Here we got some old maps. Lake Tahoe. San Francisco. Daly City. San Joaquin. San Francisco. San Diego. Some of the old maps can be collectible. And worth a little bit of money. These I don't think are old enough. But I'll still bring them to the market. And see if we can sell them. Okay. Here's an old mitt. 100% nylon sewn. Okay, that's nothing. Rawlings, okay. Very worn, very old. Rawlings made in the USA. Big leaguers. It says Mickey Mantle right here. That's pretty cool, huh? It's neat. That's neat too. All right, let's check this out. We got a bunch more maps. A whole bunch more. Oh, look at this. All right, we got a whole bunch of Frisbees here. Well, recently, I found a Frisbee. I put it in the flea market box, and then I looked it up later. I was like... Well, hang on now. That Frisbee had some money. I mean, it had some value on eBay. So, that's funny. It's got a dog on there. We want some special dog. Jazzercise. I don't think... They, I think they own a Jazzercise studio or something. Wells Fargo Bank. Probably freebie. McDonald's. That's cool. All right. Got a bunch of them. I don't love it. Oh, WD-40. That's worth it. Same as gold, guys. Same as gold. That is not leaving my garage right there. We love WD-40 around here. Love it. Oh, that's cool. Simple green. Bunch of things of simple green. All right. Hot Wheels. Woody right there. Huh, that's cool. More Hot Wheels. Oh, Slope nose Porsche right there. Nine and Company. It's a hat. Fake. Don't worry, there's not no real uh, leopards were harmed in the making of this hat. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is wicked. Look at that. Nail color. Oh, this one's glow in the dark. This one's wet and wild. And uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. I might give that to the girls. All right, that's it. Except for this box right here. Ooh, that sounds good. What's in here? Okay, photograph of a house. Or the sky, I guess. What's in this? Huh. What is this? Made in Hong Kong. It's a little metal. Oh, it's got a... Oh, it's a pencil sharpener. How funny. Right there. I wonder if that's collectible. It could very well be. And these old stockings. You guys remember these? You get these at Christmas. Filled with like cheap toys and candy and stuff. 
Oh, look at this. Elect West Coolidge. Hayward City Council. Another political button. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, look at this. Site 300 with a rattlesnake on it. Lawrence Livermore Laboratory. This brass. 1981, solid brass. Amicortes Brass Wares. Wars? Limited. Number 224, that's pretty cool. That's a little different. So you gotta be careful. You gotta go through every little scrap of paper because the dude kept everything. So there could be... Oh, oh, I saw that and I was like, oh, please, Hot Wheels... Don't have a cow, man. Okay, this one looks good. I just pulled this one out. Matchbox and Hot Wheels. You know we love that. Yeah, this, this is different now. This is, this is really interesting looking. Okay, telescope. Telescope. Oh, this looks old. Look at that. Goes on a tripod, I think, or some sort of mount. 30 by 30 millimeter. Decently powerful. All right, that seems old, right? And look at that, it's got the instruction book in there and the box, and the box seems to be in good shape. That's an interesting find, we'll have to look that up or put that in our auctions because that's not going to the flea market. Mm -mm. All right, this is off to a good start. 1940 Woody Wagon Ford, huh? This is another die cast. Heavy gauge die cast, doors openable. That goes with the telescope. We found one of these before. It could also go with the camera. It's a little tripod. Very nice. Old. Look at that. Mars Rover. Very cool. 1996. Oh, there's a Ferrari. Ferrari. Ooh, Porsche 956 right there. It's got some good stuff, right? What is that one? Volkswagen Golf. How funny. Farfic Nugan. All right, three more. Corvette split window. There's the split window in the back. And there's another Ferrari. Ferraris are always good. There's a Zender. A Zender, that's what it says. It's weird. And then there's a race team truck. And another race team. Old Chevy. All right. And that's 12 right there. That's another lot. And you'll see those in our... Wednesday night auction. These are in a bag right here. They bought them at Lucky's, the grocery store, in 1997. 23 years ago. Bought it, receipt in the bag, throws a rubber band around it, puts it away forever. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's those Lucky ones. We've had these a couple different times already. And that would be it. That's it for that box. It's a good box. All right, guys. I think I'm going to I'm gonna stop it right there. I have a lot more to get through. Don't worry. We got a lot more boxes. I'll start the next video here very soon. I'll try to keep them out more regularly. I realize I only got, what, two videos out last week. We're just so busy with the auctions. It's hard keeping a balance, keeping everything flowing through here. Um, <laughs> and we're not even buying, right? We're just going through stuff we already bought. We're not going to auctions and buying and moving stuff. I don't know where the time goes, really, but we're busy all the time. So I'm going to wrap this up, get the video out so y'all can watch it. I'll try to start doing more of that. I still got an eBay. I got to pull out a few more things for the auction. <laughs> busy, busy, but we're going to have a fun night tonight. I hope I see you all there, 6 p.m. Pacific, right here on the YouTube channel called Locker Nuts. You might be familiar. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We really appreciate it. And uh, hit that on the way out if you please thanks you guys we'll have the next video out soon until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you here next time on locker nuts